I love Persian cuisine because of its big, bold flavours. I also love it because you've got that real contrast from sweet, sour and salty. This is my Persian style lamb and eggplant stew. Now in a stew pot, we're going to heat it up. We want it to be on a medium to high heat. Good glug of extra virgin olive oil and you'll need one kilogram of lamb. Now the lamb of choice is lamb shoulder. You can see there's a little bit of sinew and fat. This is perfect for a stew like this, so it stays really tender throughout the cooking process. So let's start sealing this off. And I've asked my butcher to cut this into five centimetre pieces, and it will shrink a little bit as it cooks. Now spread the meat out. Now we want some nice caramelisation on each piece of meat so it adds flavour to our stew. I'll add a small amount of salt and a crack of pepper. Now while that's sealing off, let's talk about the eggplant. Over here I have two large eggplant. You can see there's quite a lot of seeds in it, so to ensure that it's not bitter, I've just salted it for one hour. Look how much of the liquid comes out of it. This is really important. Then shake it off and then line a tray with the eggplant. And now we don't need to add any extra salt to it, but we do need to drizzle over some extra virgin olive oil. Now with your hands, just give that a quick toss just to coat each individual piece of eggplant. And now it could go into the oven. Cook this for about 20 to 30 minutes or until they're really soft. The oven's on at 160 degrees. Okay, back to the meat. We'll turn that over. Oh, beautiful colour. That's what we're looking for. Now that just needs a few more minutes on that side. Now I'm going to prepare my stock. Now I have 250 millilitres of hot water and I'll add one stock pot. So we'll just add that to the water and allow it to dissolve. Now that that's dissolved, let's take the meat out of the pan so we can start cooking our onions. And I'll just pour that into a side plate and now there's enough oil in here to cook our onions. We just want to soften them slightly so one onion that's been finely chopped and just coat that in the oil. Any caramelised bits on the pan just scrape it with your wooden spoon because we want to lift that off to impart more flavour. Now for the spices that are quite prominent in Persian food. Ground coriander We'll add that just to toast it off a little and one whole cinnamon stick. So stir that and once you start to smell the spices toasting, not burning, it's time to add our meat. And all of those juices go in too and then we'll give it a mix. Oh, that smells so good. Now I'll add some crushed tomatoes, just one can of crushed tomatoes and we'll coat the meat and just cook off those tomatoes. And for our stock, so 250 millilitres of liquid now, and that can go in. Again, giving it a nice stir. To impart some sweetness, I love the addition of some currants, so a generous handful. And they're obviously dried now, but after cooking for an hour and a half, these become really soft and succulent. A fantastic addition. Okay. Okay, lid goes on and this goes into the oven an hour and a half to two hours or until the meat is really tender. The eggplant is not far off. I'll bring it out, just allow it to cool a little bit and we'll add them to the stew at the very last minute. Okay, this stew has been cooking for one and a half hours. The meat is tender and the smell, oh, it smells delicious. Now we can add our eggplant. So we'll just scrape that into that hot stew. You can see we've got nice big chunks of it so it doesn't break up too much. And be really gentle when you fold it through just so it doesn't start to puree. Now another distinct flavour in Persian cuisine is the sour component. And I'm going to introduce the sour component with some fresh lime. I'll use the zest, so just on a fine grater, grate that in 
And I'll leave a little of the zest to the end because I just love the colour. Also the juice, I'll grab a knife and we'll cut that lime in half and a good squeeze of lime. Lemon juice also works nicely. Even some orange juice is really lovely with the lamb flavours. All right, one last fold through and we can serve up. Now you can serve this with some good old classic plain rice or you can serve it with a rice pilaf. Rice pilaf is essentially just some onions fried, you add the rice and some stock and bake it and you get this gorgeous glossy rice. So I'll add a generous amount to our bowl. Then I'll plate this up. A few spoonfuls getting even amounts of that eggplant and lamb. And as I've mentioned a few times, a generous amount of the sauce. A little extra zest over the top just for some speckles of green. And to freshen the whole thing up, mint, mint and lamb, best mates. Just rip some of the leaves over the top. That is my Persian style lamb and eggplant stew. On a cold winter's night, this is what I crave. I'm craving that right now. I want to dig in and I want to show you how soft this lamb is. See how it just falls away? Mm. Now that is amazing. Try this one on a cold winter's night.